Ever since the Roots of Dread chapter launched last week, I've had a hard time doing anything in Dead by Daylight but play the Dredge. I've been a clown main for around four weeks and actually haven't touched him once since the new update dropped. I knew, therefore, that I ought to do a video on the character, but I don't really have an established series or format for doing so. So here's a new type of video from me. Should you buy the dredge? Spoiler, yeah, I think so. And I guess the rest of this video will be me trying to convince you why. Let's start off by looking at its perks, which I know for a lot of people is usually the reason to buy the character outside of their power. This solution activates for 20 seconds after injuring a survivor and causes any survivor that fast vaults over a pallet within your terror radius to break that pallet. It then deactivates. This isn't that strong, and I found it to be more of a passive benefit throughout the game. It's a bit like forgetting that you have spirit of fury and then just being pleasantly surprised when a pallet breaks. It's been of great benefit in some chases, but isn't exactly going to be meta. In my opinion, dissolution is not a good reason to buy the dredge. Septic touch causes any survivor within your terror radius that performs a healing action to suffer from blindness, which prevents them from being able to read auras, and exhausted, which prevents them from being able to use exhaustion perks. The effect lingers for 10 seconds after the healing action has stopped. This isn't very good. Maybe when combined with something like Chorophobia, it could work well, but as far as I'm aware, there aren't really a lot of big terror radius builds going, are there? Maybe I'm wrong, but I really don't care for this perk's power. It's very weak in my mind, and it's certainly no good on a mostly stealth killer like the Dredge. It is also not a good reason to buy the Dredge. Darkness Revealed allows you to see the auras of any survivor within 8 meters of any locker on the map for 5 seconds when searching a locker. It has a 30 second cooldown, and this is an amazing perk. With the latest update, they've upped the number of lockers on each map quite significantly, and there's a higher probability that at least one survivor will be near a locker at any given moment during a trial. To be able to see them from across the map is immensely strong. It's like a barbecue you can use every 30 seconds. It's especially good on the dredge who can then teleport to one of those lockers. You won't find yourself searching long and hard for survivors while you have this perk equipped. Darkness Revealed is a good reason to buy the dredge. Okay, I, I knew that people would expect me to talk about the perks in this video, but that's not the reason why I feel so strongly about the character. As you can probably tell, I only think one of them is actually any good. Uh, it's the way that he plays that I'm in love with, and here's why. I've always been of the opinion that the best killer powers in DBD are the ones that modify the way that survivors interact with the trial. As a survivor, you're given a challenge to overcome. The killer can hurt you, and all you can do is run. So you have pallets and windows to assist you in that running that allow you to turn the power dynamic the other way. A good killer power rewards you for using those mechanics effectively and punishes you for using them poorly. For example, Bubba in my mind is a great killer because if the killer mistimes the chainsaw, then he gives the survivors mad distance. But if the survivor is good at chasing and can create that distance, then they can also overcome the power fairly easily. So you have two players using their skill at Dead by Daylight to overcome the challenge in front of them. I do not like the Doctor because he just takes away your ability to use those mechanics. Again, the Trapper closes loops off forcing the survivors to use strategic thinking and understanding of the game to overcome the fresh challenge presented to them. The trapper has to choose where to place his traps in order to effectively cut off loops. For this, he has to be good at chases and game knowledge. I love that stuff. The Dredge fulfills this incredibly well too. He's a killer who is fine as an M1 chaser with his 4.6 meters per second speed, but where he really excels is at effectively utilizing his ability to move between lockers and the remnant. When a survivor is running off ahead of you, you can switch to teleport mode and jump in a locker that they're running towards, but they may realize that this is your plan and start moving in another direction. You either gain huge distance on them or lose huge distance on them, and this is entirely down to yours and their strategic decisions. Once again, the survivor and the killer are rewarded for being good at chasing. Similarly, dummying a teleport back to the remnant creates a whole new mind game. You can entirely close off any loop, even an infinite, if you play it well, but survivors can, again, overcome the fresh challenge by making the right strategic decisions. In the end, whether a chase is won or lost depends entirely on the skill of the players involved, and a single misstep can undo an entire chase's worth of progress. This is awesome, it's fun, and above all else, it's satisfying. Even when I've done poorly as the dredge, I've still had a good time because he's just that fun to play as. You feel powerful. You feel like a nightmare come to life. Now, let's quickly talk about Nightfall. Nightfall makes you feel like an absolute powerhouse stalking your prey. But as it's not controlled by the killer, it feels like more of an occasional passive benefit than anything skill-based. I do have a few suggestions on how the dredge can be improved, one of which is allowing the killer to choose when Nightfall activates, but I'll leave that for another video. In my mind, because of the reasons I've just mentioned, 
mentioned, the Dredge is one of the most fun killers we've ever had and one that rewards skilled gameplay at a high level for both roles. For this reason, regardless of the fact that two out of three of his perks aren't really that great, I feel as though the Dredge is worth buying. And right now, I take it over any other killer. But what do you think? Have you bought the Roots of Dread DLC already or are you on the fence? Are you happy with your purchase? Let me know in the comments. A big thank you to my patrons, Jobrook182, Kirk Gardner, Sylvan, Think Sometimes, Corkhead, Channel Manager, Chipstar878, and Godfather Dumbledore. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you thought of this video. It's a bit different for me, but yeah. Whoop! Wow. You mug. You mug. You mug. <laughs>